Hello friends, I'm Tim Wildsmith, and in this video we're going to be taking a closer look at the NKJV Topaz from Cambridge Bibles. Okay, so the NKJV Topaz is finally here. It's been much anticipated in the Bible world, and for good reason. It's a fantastic typesetting. The Topaz launched a couple years ago with the ESV Topaz, which I have down here. This is actually my dad's copy of it. I gave it to him for Father's Day. It's doing really well. He's using it all the time. And now they're expanding for the second time. The Topaz comes out in the New King James Version, and uh, it's a really beautiful Bible. I'm very impressed. I've been spending the last couple weeks with this. I got to be on a a video Zoom interview with the team at Cambridge to ask questions about this with some other Bible reviewers and people in the Bible world. Um, really impressive. I just love what they're doing. I love what Cambridge is up to. They've got a lot of exciting plans for the future. And this Bible in particular is, is, is really well done. So I'm going to walk through it with you, show you all the ins and outs to help you decide if this is a Bible that's right for you. That's what Bible Review Blog is all about. So if you have any questions, let me know in the comments. Anything I mentioned in this review, links to purchase, all that stuff will be in the description. Uh, so yeah, without further ado, let's take a look. This is the NKJV Topaz from Cambridge Bibles. Okay, first things first, here's the box, NKJV Topaz. Reference edition, full color, it's a clamshell box. All the information you could want on the back there. And then there's the Bible. This is the dark green goatskin edition. I made a video of myself unboxing this where I, I kind of, I mean, I don't know if I embarrassed myself, but I geeked out a little bit on this, this Bible and how beautiful particularly the green is. Um, after I showed this to my, my wife, she said, it's kind of an olive green. The, the, the color of this just turned out really, really beautifully. You see it says Holy Bible on the cover. It is five raised hubs, Holy Bible, New King James Version. Cambridge, there you see they've got, this is one of the changes from the ESV edition. They did three ribbons and then they, on the blue and the green editions, they did this multicolored ribbon set, which I think is really, really sharp. Um, it has a perimeter stitch around the outside. Now you can see the goat skin is just this like really great, smooth texture, really floppy. I want to bring in the ESV edition real quick so you can see the difference. It is slightly different. So you see the green one has a little bit more smooth texture. It's not as pebbly as the, um, the ESV edition. I'm sure that this might change from Bible to Bible, but um, this one, they, they have a similar flop, but this one has like a, a, bit, a little bit of smoother to the touch, um, less grain, so to speak. But other than that, they're, they're very similar. There you see the two. By the way, this is the one I reviewed last year. I gave it to my dad for Father's Day. He's been using it, and it's held up so well. He loves this Bible. I'm so glad that he has it. But um, really, really beautiful touches. The, the liner is really great, this nice natural grain. Um, some of Cambridge's products have more of a synthetic liner, but the Topaz has this really nice, soft-to-the-touch liner on the inside. You can see that it is edge-lined. It's got a sewn binding. So it's got all of the, the premium touches you want. They make three different goatskin editions, dark green, dark blue that kind of matches the, the edition from the ESV, and then a black one. And then they have two uh, calf split editions, a brown and a black that I believe have paste down liners. So slightly different. They're a little bit less expensive. But um, as far as the size goes, this is six and a quarter inches wide by nine and a quarter inches tall. And this is just a hair under an inch and a half thick. It's right at the same size as the ESV. I think this one has about 90 more pages in it. So um, I'll show you a few other differences with the ESV as I go. But initially from the outside, it's the fact that it has three ribbons. You get the tricolored option on the green edition and the blue edition. The black one, I believe, has three red ribbons. And then the, the, the goat skin is just as nice. It just has a slightly different texture to it. Okay, now going on to the inside, the very front we get Presentation pages, full set of family records. These are really nice, kind of a thicker cardstock. There you have your title page, New King James Version. Here is your copyright page. So Cambridge, NKJV, all the information there. Then you see down at the bottom, Topaz Reference Edition, designed by 2K Denmark. They use a, a font called More Pro Book. It's 10 point. It's on French paper, printed and abound in the Netherlands by Royal Youngblood. So you've got 2K Denmark working on the design, you've got French paper, you've got Royal Youngblood, 
printing things in the Netherlands, top of the tops as far as premium quality goes. Your preface to the New King James translation, special abbreviations, and then there you go right there, it's the opening page. Very, very beautiful look on the page. One of the other things I noticed was on the NKJV edition, this uh, heading above the title of the book is now in red. That's different from the ESV, it was in black. I also noticed that this one just, I don't know if you can tell this, I'm just gonna open it up here. It opens really flat, it lays really flat. And, it, and to me, it's a flatter than the ESV edition. So this is just really well constructed, um, looks beautiful. This is kind of the, even here you can see it just kind of wants to lay down. So it looks really sharp. The design of the topaz is a two column, it's verse by verse. So each verse indents its own paragraph. The topaz doesn't use pill crows or paragraph markers to show you where there's actually a new paragraph in the text. I know some people like that, some people don't. They don't have those in here, so every paragraph is indented. You get a red accent on the verse numbers where the words are in black. I'll show you in the New Testament where the words of Christ are in red, that turns black, the number. And then you get the cross-references here on the outer margins of the page. So your cross-references are out here, and then your textual notes are down at the bottom. Now, if you're a, a power user of the NKJV, what a lot of people wanted to know is if it has all of the notes. I believe it does have all of the translator footnotes down here at the bottom of the page, which again is um, separated from the text by this thin line. It looks really sharp. What they told me about the cross-references is that they used a set of cross-references that is not like the full study Bible set. It's about 45,000 cross-references, which is similar to what they put in the ESV edition. So it's not as many. For me, I would have never known to even ask that because I'm not like a power NKJV user, but it's, this is where they put them up here. You see there's a, a break when it goes from the, this, these over here are the left column and their little space, and that's what's in the right column. So it's really easy to find your way. It's really easy to use them. Um, as you can see, the, the font just leaps off the page. It's a 10-point font. This is, to me, it's a big, easy-to-read 10-point font. In my interview that I did with them, they talked about how, they, how the letters are spaced and, and how high they are and just how it's, it's designed to be a very comfortable, easy-to-read text block. You can also see that you're not really fighting much ghosting on the other side of the page, and that's because this is top of the line, 28 GSM, endopaque paper, um, the place that they get it from in France is the only place in the world you can get paper like this. And it just, it's a beautiful ivory color. You're not distracted by what's on the opposite side of the page. As far as like readability goes, this Bible is just, I mean, I'm standing here, I'm standing above this table. It's probably two and a half, three feet away from me. And it's just so comfortable and easy to see and to read. It's, it's, it's really, really beautiful. So um, I talked about the cross references. I talked about the textual notes. Font size is 10, it's line matched. The text is on this side of the page is matched with that on that side of the page. So even if it was able to see through a little bit, you're not distracted by it. 28 GSM paper. Um, as far as the differences from the ESV go, like I said, it lays a little bit flatter. It has three ribbons. Um, they have these red accents above the, the title of the book. The other thing I noticed, um, I'll, I'll wait to show you that in a second. Let me get you to the New Testament first. In the New Testament, we add in that there are red letters for the words of Christ. So here you see where it's a red verse number when the text is black, but it's a black verse number when the text is red. I like that. The, the red is used sparingly as an accent, but it works really well. It, it's, it's, it's easy to read. It makes studying with this Bible and kind of finding your place really smooth. It kind of keeps this format throughout. I will notice that, oh, here's one thing that people have talked about. In the Psalms, as with many verse-by-verse -verse Bibles, they don't use a poetic typesetting. And so what happens is, because the KJV uses capital letters at their line breaks, often what that means is that when it's not a poetic setting like this, you'll find a capital letter that doesn't have any punctuation next to it, and that's where a line break would have been. And we asked them about that in our interview, and they just said, yeah, we had to make the decision about how to best serve the typeface and to, to make it as seamless as you go throughout. And so that's what it is. So for example, I'm gonna bring in the, the NKJV wide margins. So you see here, they've got a poetic type setting where like it looks like poetry, where there's line breaks and indentions. That's a poetic setting. Whereas in the topaz, it's verse by verse and they don't do those same kind of line breaks. I noticed somebody said this online about the capital letters and I was like, I would have never probably noticed that. It's, it's, it's not something that distracts me at all when I'm reading it. Um, moving to the back of the Bible, when you get to the end of Revelation, by the way, the red color is just, it's a great red. Whatever color this is, the printing process, I've always loved the red that they use 
um, that Cambridge uses, and, and the topaz, it really, it looks really sharp. At the end of Revelation, you get a concordance. Gosh, I tried to get to that page. There it is. Concordance. It's three columns. The entries are in bold, really easy to find, very easy to use. A nice big concordance. Um, if you're studying with this Bible, you get the cross references, you get the textual notes, you get the cross, you get the concordance. And then here's another difference from the ESV: they put some blank paper back here in the back, so you have blank. It's not lined, but it's blank extra pages which don't appear in the ESV edition. So you can just have, kind of have places to keep your own notes, your own index, and things like that. And then you get to your set of Cambridge Bible maps. This is a slightly uh, glossier paper. It's not too thick, um, but it's a, a slightly thicker than the Bible paper, obviously, but. Cambridge maps are, are well regarded. That's because they're good and they've kind of stood the test of time. They look really great. Get to the end, a couple pages of cardstock, and then close it out. So uh, what, what makes the, the topaz stand out is that it is verse by verse throughout the Bible. Um, the, the cross references are in the outer margins, and then they do use red letters for the words of Christ. Those are some of the big differences that it has. But overall, uh, this is really well designed. I'm glad that they're expanding this into other translations. It's, it's, it's fantastic. So there you have it. That's the NKJV Topaz from Cambridge Bibles. I love this Bible. I think they did a really great job with it. There's a lot of things to like about this Bible. But I also want to know what you think about it. So leave me a comment. Let me know what you think. Definitely check out BibleReviewBlog.com. I've got a full write-up of the NKJV Topaz. I've got a bunch of great photos. So you can get a closer look for it. As always, anything that I mentioned in this video is in the description. Links to purchase, links to explore more, so definitely check that out. Also visit Bible Review Blog on Instagram and Facebook. We've got a great community there who's talking about the Bible and just having a good time together. And while you're here, hit that like button, subscribe to the channel if you want to see more great Bible content. I've got some really fun stuff coming out in the very near future. So thank you so much for watching. We'll see you next time. <music>